वेलकम टू शांति पीसफो मैथमेटिक्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव टॉक अबाउट चेन रूल फॉर पार्सल डेरिवेटिव इन दैट वी हैव सीन दैट इफ यू हैव अ फंक्शन जेड विच इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई एंड इफ एक्स इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ टी एंड वाई इज ऑल्सो फंक्शन ऑफ टी देन यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ जेड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टी which is as the formula del z by del x into dx by dt plus del z by del y into dy by dt that can be seen by a t diagram that is z is a function of x and y and x and y are the functions of t now as a special case if you consider this t equal to x then you will have z which is a function of x and y and x is a function of x but y is a func function of x so you will have the situation z is a function of x and y and y is a function of x so you can talk about the dz by dx which is nothing but the del z by del x plus del z by del y into dy by dx this relation it can be used for defining the implicity for example suppose that the implicit function given as f of x y is equal to c where y is implicit as a differentiable function of x so y is equal to f some function let's say phi of x which is a differentiable function so implicitly this function f of x y is represented as a constant f of x y is equal to constant it is represented as a fun one function so and we are interested to find out what is the dy by dx this quantity is known does not known to you you have given is this f of x y is equal to constant so if you differentiate both the side with respect to x according to this chain rule you will have del f upon del x plus del f upon del y into dy by dx is equal to the derivative of a constant is zero and if you are this del f by del y is non zero then we can write dy by dx as minus of del f by del x upon del f by del y that can be also represented as fx upon fy so this is the first derivative of a implicit function if you want to calculate the second derivative of implicit function differentiate this equation with respect to x again so that will gives you del square y upon del x square on this side other side you will have to use the division rule so that's why it is minus sign as it is the derivative for the division rule the denominator square is there so fy square fy as it is the derivative of fx with respect to x that is using the chain rule again fxx into 1 so here is also fx is a function of two variable x and y and y is a function of x so first i am moving on this direction so the derivative of fx with respect to x will gives me fxx plus now i am moving on this direction so that is f the derivative of fx with respect to y it is fxy into dy by dx minus fx as it is now derivative of fy now fy is also having the same situation fy is a function of x and y and y is a function of x so first i am moving on to this direction so that's a, that's why it is fyx plus fyy into dy by dx now dy by dx just we have calculated is here it is fx minus fx upon fy so we'll substitute that value here so this is fy into fxx plus fxy into minus of fx upon fy minus fx fyx plus fyy into minus fx upon fy upon fy square so this is nothing but the minus of fy fxx Minus one f when f y is multiply here, then f y is cancel out. You will have minus of f x f x y. This minus sign goes inside and f x should multiply, so it is f x 
एफ वाई एक्स प्लस एफ वाई वाई बिकॉज दिस माइनस माइनस बिकम प्लस इन टू एफ एक्स स्क्वेर अपॉन एफ वाई ओल अपॉन एफ वाई स्क्वेर एंड वी जस्ट एज्यूम दैट एफ एक्स वाई इज सेम एज एफ वाई एक्स इफ यू एज्यूम दिस and if i take this fy as lcm we'll have the final answer as minus of fy square fxx minus 2 times fx fy fxy minus fy y fx square upon fy cube so this is the formula for finding the second order derivative of implicit function let's have the example and we will see this for example given that x cube plus y square x minus 3 equal to 0 find dy by dx so this is a implicit function as function of x f of x y is equal to 0 as given to you so just by taking the differentiation both side with respect to x will gives you 3x square plus the derivative of this you have to use the product rule So y square as it is, the derivative of x with respect to x is one. Plus x as it is, derivative of y square is two y into dy by dx, and the derivative of three is zero. So you'll have this is the answer. And if you simplify dy by dx, will gives you that is minus of three x square plus y square upon two x square. That is your final answer. You will have. so this is the implicit function the derivative of implicit function you will have now in similar manner as we have this suppose you have given the function w as a function of three variable x y z w is a function of x y z so z as a function of pi of x y is a differentiable it is not known to you it is known is so it is a implicit function is there so we can talk about this chain rule because here the situation is w is a function of three variable that is x y and z x is a function of x y is a function of x and z is a function of two variable x and y so this is the situation so if you can talk about the partial derivative of this w with respect to x you will have two parts first is this another one is this so that's why it is del w by del x plus del W by del z into del z by del x, and if you can talk about the partial derivative of this W with respect to y, you will have del W upon del y plus del W upon del z into del z upon del y equal to zero. Now, if you have assumed that this del W upon del z is non-zero, so if you assume del W upon del z is non-zero. then we can talk about the del w upon del x that is zx which is nothing but the minus of wx upon wz and zy that is del z upon del y is nothing but the minus of wy upon wz so this is z implicit function as differentiable function of x and y and if this w del w upon del z is non zero then we can represent del z by del x as minus of this and del z by del y as minus of this let's have one of the example of this type or this situation suppose given that the sphere x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 find zx and zy at point 2 by 3 1 by 3 2 by 3 so here f of x y z is given as x square plus y square plus z square because that is equal to constant is there so as per this zx is nothing but the minus of fx upon f fz so that is what is fx fx is 2x so this is 2x upon fz is 2z so this is minus x by z same way zy is minus fy upon fz so that is minus 2y upon 2z so that will be minus y by z now the question is to calculate this at the point 1 by 3 2 by 
वन बाय थ्री टू बाय थ्री दैट्स वाई इट इज माइनस टू बाय थ्री अपॉन टू बाय थ्री सो दैट विल गिव यू वन जेड वाई एट टू बाय थ्री वन बाय थ्री टू बाय थ्री सो दैट विल माइनस ऑफ वन बाय थ्री अपॉन टू बाय थ्री सो दैट विल बी माइनस वन बाय टू सो इन दैट मैनर यू कैन कैलकुलेट द इफ यू हैव अ फंक्शन इम्प्लीसिट फंक्शन गिवन एज अ थ्री वेरिएबल और इन द टू वेरिएबल सो लेट्स हैव ऑन सम कपल ऑफ मोर एग्जाम्पल्स लेट्स हैव दिस एग्जाम्पल ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एच एक्स वाई प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एक्स प्लस टू एफ वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो द क्वेश्चन इज फाइंड डी स्क्वायर वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर सो फर्स्ट आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सो फॉर दैट आई नीड टू एज्यूम वॉट इज योर फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई सो यू जस्ट नोट दैट दिस इज अ इम्प्लीसिट फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स वाई इज गिवन सो एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एच एक्स वाई प्लस बी वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू जी एक्स प्लस टू एफ वाई प्लस सी इज देयर सो एज पर दिस दिस इज माइनस ऑफ एफ एक्स अपॉन एफ वाई सो एज पर द फॉर्मूला वी हैव दिस दिस इज माइनस ऑफ So derivative of this with respect to y will gives you 2h x plus 2b y plus 2f, and derivative of this quantity with respect to x will gives you 2a x plus 2h y plus 2g. Finally, the answer is minus of a x plus h y plus g upon h x plus b y plus f. The question was to calculate del square f upon del x square. So the formula for that it is minus of f x x into f y square minus two f x f y f x y plus f y y into f x square upon f y cube. This formula we have already calculated here. We have proved that. Here, so I'm just using that formula here. Now, what is f x x, f x y, f y y? Let us calculate that. So f is given as a x square plus two h x y plus b y square plus two g x plus two f y plus c. So f x we already calculated. It is two into a x plus h y plus g. f y we have calculated is 2 into h x plus b y plus f f x x we have calculated is 2 a f x y is calculated is 2 h f y y is calculated as 2 b so by substituting the values of each and every quantity f x x f x x is 2 a And here it is f y square. F y is this, so it is square is there, so it is four. So this quantity will become eight into h x plus b y plus f square minus two is there. F x f y and f y y is there. F f x y is two h, and this f x and f y is also two. So two to the four to the eight plus into two it is sixteen. So here you will have sixteen. H f x that is a x plus h y plus g plus h x plus b y plus f plus f y y f y y is two b and f x square f x square is also two is there so it is eight b inside bracket a x plus h y plus g whole square upon eight h x plus b y plus f whole cube. Now I will left to you that calculation here. The answer for this quantity you will have it is a b c minus c h square plus two f g h minus b g square plus h f square upon h x plus b y plus f whole cube. So that you can verify. So that's it for this video. You may solve. the many examples are given in my lecture notes as an exercise you can go through it and try to solve them in this lecture we have discussed about the implicit function 
that is if you have a given of implicit function f of x y is equal to c then the derivative of this you can calculate it as dy by dx you can calculate it as fx by fy and if you have a three variable function implicit function is given to you then you can calculate what is del z by del x that is minus of fx by fz and del z by del y is minus of fy upon f that's it for this video if you like this video please press the like button if you have any comment suggestion or a question please drop down in a comment box below see you in next video till then bye bye sayonara